been talked about as an act of God. The Vatican, struck by lightning on the same day Pope Benedict XVI, shocked his cardinals by announcing his resignation. The frequently stumbling pontiff has long stayed off rumours of deteriorating health. In this instance, he's caught napping during a moment of sanctity while visiting the flock in Malta. Benedict began his reign as Catholicism's mighty wielding man of cloth in his late 70s. He endured a broken wrist and a very public attack, giving rise to concerns that he may become vulnerable after suffering a stroke. Just recently, and perhaps another sign from God, the pontiff's dove of peace found itself flying solo against a wall. The symbol of harmony and purity was then set upon by a vengeful seagull, leaving the faithful questioning the mind of God. Perhaps the reign of Benedict is ending not because of his age or health, but because he simply didn't have the cool factor of the Pope who went before him. Extraordinary pictures which came to us from the Vatican on what was, of course, an extraordinary day. Within hours of Pope Benedict announcing that he was to resign, The Catholic Church scandal abuse, sexual, sexual abuse scandal rather, has reached the highest levels of the Vatican overnight with charges against a top official. His name is Cardinal George Pell. He faces multiple criminal charges in Australia for alleged sexual assault that was committed allegedly decades ago. The Cardinal is a top advisor to Pope Francis who has promised zero tolerance of sex abuse. Pell will take a leave of absence while he fights the charges. This morning, Cardinal Pell says he is innocent. Seth Doan is in room, Rome with the allegations rocking the Vatican today. Seth, good morning. Good morning. In this elite group of cardinals considered the so-called princes of the church, Cardinal Pell is at the very top, considered one of the closest advisors to Pope Francis. So these charges this morning are sending shockwaves through the Catholic Church. The 76-year-old cardinal was reflective but forceful this morning, railing against what he said was nearly two years of relentless character assassination. Uh, I'm innocent of these charges. They are false. The whole idea of sexual abuse is abhorrent to me. Australian police did not provide any specific details of the multiple charges of sexual assault. Cardinal George Pell has been in charge of reforming church finances, but for years has faced allegations that he did not properly deal with clergy sex abuse in Australia. He was questioned by a commission investigating the church's response to abuse via video link from Rome. With the experience of 40 years later, certainly I would agree that I should have, uh, should have done more. Why do you need the experience of 40 years later? Wasn't it a serious matter then? Uh, yes, but uh, people had uh, a different attitude to them. Pell told reporters this morning that he has been in regular I, contact with Pope, Pope Francis, Francis, the Holy Father, regularly informed, who has granted him leave to return to Australia for his day in court in mid-July. 
how big of a blow are these charges to the Catholic Church? This is a major blow. Robert no Mickens with Catholic publication La Croix International has been covering the Vatican for 25 years. You have to understand the Vatican language is always going to be very much more conciliatory. Cardinal Pell said the Pope has given him a leave of absence. It's very likely that the Pope stood him down. And that leave of absence, according to the Vatican, is effective immediately. A leave of absence is quite significant for a priest. It is even more serious for a cardinal and for such a close friend and advisor of Pope Francis. It is a shock. Nora? All right, Seth Doan in Rome, thank you so much. Possibility to marriage. A Polish priest was fired from his job at the Vatican after he held a news conference announcing not only that he's gay, but that he's been living with another man for years. It's the will of God for our life, also for my life, with him. Okay. Thank you very much for everything.